Maybe so. Where are those refugees? Because you were- You're like all the other shitbags in this town. Hundreds of desperate people- Hey! Why don't you let us deal with these no good? Stand up. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Cotter? A criminal? Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad. Over and out. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? And what did his wife say? I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. 
Such straightforward people. I know we'll get along. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you had me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored, even. You're quite a remarkable outfit, and I think the future of Colorado Springs will be a lot brighter if you're part of it. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers.
Breaker 1-9, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Hmm. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal, Angie otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when Command sent us out here to reconnoiter. But, well, things took an unexpected turn. <sighs> All we came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the page trouble was. The more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bl- <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were gonna- We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why do you think? We want you on our side. But not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a connive. There's a man you should talk to. Locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Bro- And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. 
I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me, either. Gracias, compadres. And Ed Red, over and out. Never know. No one must ever tell them. The world is ours, Josephine. One, three, five, seven, eleven, eleven, one, three, five, seven, eleven, eleven, and eleven. I can see my own self. you know where you are going to? Do you like the things that wife is showing you? Eureka! The secret at last! The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. What's my name? Why don't you tell me my name?
Oh, your secret at last! Gracious of hosts.
like you so much, you have been the most gracious of hosts. These uh, uh, nights do oh not compute.
Hold your ground. Molines do not compute. Sacramento, California. What's my name? Why don't you tell me my name? Can you see me? Do I exist? The square of the Coropotamus is three times the weight of its eye. California. Home again, home again, jugity jugity jug. Sacramento, California. Sunday, Eureka! The secret at last!
like Elbam. The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. They must never know. No one must ever tell them. Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars. Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug. The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. Sacramento, California. Sacramento, California. Traitors! <gasps> Traitors, all of you! These molides do not compute. <laughs> I am a human just like you. is showing you they must never know no one must ever tell them My own self.
kind of a generation thrown down the Gazaman Platz. One must ever tell them.
so much you have been the most gracious of hosts. What was all that noise? Did you just have a shootout in apartment three? Actually, don't answer that. Just tell me what Irv is doing in there. I'm not paying you one Colorado penny until you can tell me for sure. Must be some kind of... Oh, this place attracts all the crazies. See what else you can find in apartment three.
some antidote. What'd you find in a... Was he making bombs, like I said? Oh, his security deposit's not... If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy. Let me know what happens. November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any figured. We'll keep them outside the base for you to deal with in good time. Over and out.
Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. Ha ha! Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But sooner or later, someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Don't worry. Your old buddy Charlie won't sell you short. We just need a little... Well, since Mr. Brigo is gone, Charlie has found himself bereft. Okay, you help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the night. Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I? T I knew you'd say that. All right, we'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team and the bazaar. Got some business for you. If you have the cojones. Letting those refugees die out there. All those people I was patching up downtown. There is one man responsible for all that bloodshed. Nellius Dorsey. You want to make me happy? Find him and make him pay. What do you need, Rangers? Of course, have a seat. Sure. back, Rangers. What can I do for you? Happy to. Take a look.
Hola, Rangers. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so... Why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. <laughs> On the other hand, she'd never suspect. <laughs> Hell, with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say, hmm? Want to find her for us? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Not Nelly. No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s. Blonde, shapely, skin like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. Uh, we shouldn't be condoning something like this. Ah, it is. You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And... I know the codes. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. 900-909-3500. You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. Used to stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. <laughs> Chasing down a pretty li- Far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado Springs. We'll be here when you find some courage. Keeping the refugees here is just temporary, right?
your mind, finally? Do we have a deal? Gracias, friends. Far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado. Adios, compadres. November, this is Ranger HQ. I it's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. You arrest our mama. What's she ever done but help folks out? I was talking to Diligent Joe the other day. Yeah, for the words of the Reyeses to buy up and turn into playpens. Seriously. Why would you even want to live with a bunch of uptight muckety? I've got plenty of books about fucking. No, not fucking! Cloning! It's how you make new humans without sense. Jesus. How does anyone want to do that? Shove off, Rangers. You ain't no friend. You're no better than the Marshals.
Mom. Mom? Oh, I... I... I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... We, uh... Got separated. I... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but... I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. There... There was this smiling lady. She said she had some food. And I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know... She was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage. I kicked him as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. Stayed with him till I got here. How do you know my name? My mom? She's... she's alive. Thank you. I'll leave as soon as I can. Um, I guess. Wh who are you? Um, uh, yes. What, what do you want? Are you going to arrest me? I... Uh, please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. The original? No. N not anymore, but I guess in a w or, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race. Right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that. You believe me, don't you? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He... He... Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Oh, no. Did you kill them? Oh, oh poor clones. Yeah. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of... Um, if... I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. No! No! I promise I'm a good person. Please don't arrest me. Please! You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! I, I'm so grateful. I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much!
Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Ah, serves me right for asking, I guess. What the- oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie.
strangers. Good to be here. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. We've had to make do. In all honesty, though, this is a good space. Lots of room. Well, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some... Now, we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find yourself in the bazaar, see if you can find him and invite him. Appreciate it. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. Sense her regards. Here's the throw she promised you for delivering the girl. Pleasure doing business with you. She thought you might get second thoughts about the job, so she bailed with the rest of the gang as soon as lost. The boss already had a buyer lined up, and we don't like to keep the customers waiting. Adios. Keeping the refugees here is...
thought of a long-term solution for the refugees? Happy to. Take a look. That Reed kid's crying in his cell. Doesn't realize he got off lucky.
Museum in Arriba. Take the tour, then visit El Big Top and learn what it really means to be a clown. Children under 10 are free. We can't get enough of those cabronitos. <laughs> Arriba, los payasos. Another strangling yarn. <laughs> this one about an astute student who learned how to love to kill. Once there was a little boy who loved having pets. Oh, yes, cats, dogs, squirrels, badgers. He loved them all. And he especially loved them in a nice big stew with a sprig of tar. It 
wasn't until the boy met little Annie that he began to develop other interests. He began to ply little Annie with gifts, trinkets, and tidbits from scrapyards wrapped in animal furs. Soon, little Annie came to love the boy and agreed to see him away from the adults. Thus, that little boy had fun. This place is becoming a real home. Drive safe. <coughs> what do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. If it ain't cut, don't stitch it. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. I... I... It's incredible! A time machine. Did I say that? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the... Uh, I can have the machine take your genetic material. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so... Whatever... Okay, well, how exciting! Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires... Now, put your palm on the machine right here. <laughs> this one can talk! You are who you eat!
nine, four, seven, nine, four. Hello again, esteemed guests. Enjoy your visit. Hey, if you're into guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by guns. Guns the monster sanctified with blood. <laughs> you blood look hurt. Can you check out Pichatelli's shop next? Oh, 